time to see what's coming out today for our media partner, the Baltimore Banner. Maryland Day is this upcoming Monday, and there are dozens of events happening around Annapolis to commemorate the founding of the colony of Maryland. And joining us now to tell us more is the Banner's Annapolis columnist, Rick Hutzel. Good morning, Rick. How are you? Good morning. Happy Maryland Day. Yes, yes. you too. So, we Rick, don't hear that very much, to be honest. You know, it's. It, I think we should say it more. Happy Maryland Day. You are Rick, so right. We support it. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, you know, Maryland Day celebrates the founding of Maryland in 1634, uh, and it also, I guess, founded the uh, history tourism business because lots of people come to Annapolis to explore uh, Maryland's history. And frankly, this weekend, today, Saturday, Sunday, Annapolis crushes it. Some of the events are outdoors, so the attendance may be down on Saturday. But today is beautiful, and Sunday is dry. I hope. Um, uh, but uh, it's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun things to do. Yes, yeah, Sunday is going to be dry, Rick, and sunny. So Maryland's beauty will be on full display. Talk to us, though, about what events are happening. What do you think should be at the top of everyone's list? Well, for me, I like sailboats. I live in Annapolis. I don't own a sailboat, but I like them. Uh, so the fact that the Pride of Maryland, too, is going to be docked at City Dock for three days with free open deck tours uh, is a real draw. But there's just you know something for everybody. Uh, you could ex you could uh, you could go to the Banneker Douglas Museum and see their exhibit on uh, the year of civil rights. Uh, visit Annapolis. The Tourism Bureau in Annapolis has a new walking tour that take you around civil rights sites in Annapolis. Uh, you could go to the Chase Lloyd House. It's a fascinating history with a really strong storyline about women. It's only open a few times of year. Peka Garden, the beautiful garden behind the William Peka House, is opening for the first time this weekend for the season. The archaeology lab in Edgewater, the state's archaeology lab, is open. And that's something you just don't get to see except for this weekend. There are about 40 different exhibits, uh, open houses, and free events. Perfect. A lot of indoor ones, too. Yes, you know, truly. If it's raining. And, Rick, we know that you write seven things to do every week. So, why seven? What's oh. the story behind that? Well, Annapolis is just a cultural center. You know, there's always something going on. And you got to limit it somewhere, right? So, I said <laughs> seven. Seven's the most anybody could do in one week, right? One day a week. But there's always a lot to choose from in Annapolis. You can find a, full, a link to the full list of Maryland Day events in my column, Seven Things to Do in Annapolis. Okay, thank you so much, Rick. And if you'd like to learn more about this story and others from the Baltimore Banner, just head to thebaltimorebanner.com.